Welcome, a very pleasant good morning, afternoon, evening, good day, wherever you are. If you're new here, I appreciate you. And if you're coming back, I appreciate you even more. Anyways, um, I'm just giving you guys an update just to something that happened to me recently. So some of you may know that I started a, a page on um, Facebook for Credea. And I do have a website for Credea and we have Instagram and Twitter. So I was running, um, I wrote a little letter and I was running an ad on Facebook, you know, just to promote the, the petition, get people to sign up and so on. So I got a email from a fellow who said he's a member of parliament, Kenyan member of parliament. Um, and he's very interested in what I wrote and, um, he wants to, to, to help. He wants to be our voice, um, of the repatriation movement in Kenya. So it's like, okay, bring it on. Right away, something was a little bit, my, my flags, my, my indicators were on, like something's up with the sky. But anyways, you know, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt and I said, okay, fine. So he wrote me and he said, um, we need a bill. We need, you need to draft a bill so they can present in parliament. And that I was like, why, why would I need to draft a bill? But anyways, I'm like, you know what? Let me give him the benefit of the doubt. So I did some research and I drafted a, a, a bill for granting right of abode to descendants of enslaved and trafficked Africans. Um, namely those who survived the transatlantic slave trade, right? So, and I also wrote um drafted i should say a procedure uh, an application procedure for applicants right with with reasonable fees i think it was for a single person right of about two thousand dollars and for a family five thousand dollars and there's some uh, maybe another fee in there or something um but that would be it you apply and oh and there's a dna test in there as well you need to be at least 80 percent african um indigenous african dna took to qualify so all of that was in there sent it back to the gentleman and he was very excited oh yes this is wonderful you know I'll, I'll let you know tomorrow what my colleagues say so the next day i hear from this guy and he says um yeah we are going to present into parliament so we just need some money to to make the submission and to buy fuel for our cars and i'm like <laughs> I'm like, dude, like, I might have been born at night, but not last night. Why would a member of parliament need my money? I'm like, listen, man, anybody that's going to help this cause, you're going to help this cause because you believe in it, not because you're going to make some money off me. Like, I'm not rich. Yes, I might spend a little bit of money in to get Kredia out and put some of my personal finances behind it. But I'm not rich, dude. I work like everybody else. Every morning I get up and I got to go to work, whether it rain, fall or snowing. Yeah, so I blocked him, and um, you'll see some of his his um, comments somewhere on the screen once I figure that out. But yeah, you know, and it's the second time someone has tried to take advantage of me in Kenya. Um, I think I might have told you guys about the first one with the carry pin, where one of the gentlemen in there wanted to charge me twenty five hundred, I believe, for a letter from a, a tax agent. And then another 2500 to get the pin and then 500 dollars each year after that to maintain the pin and i'm like dude i did my research like carry pins are free i i don't understand and this is why it is so important very important that there needs that there is some um official procedure of how we can come home to whatever african country not just kenya whatever african country because us trying to navigate opens us up to a lot of a lot of abuse and i know a lot of people who have lost a lot of money out there and it, it shouldn't be that way you know we're, we're looking to come home we're going to be establishing businesses you know a lot of us most of us are pan-africans so we're all about the betterment of our of our peoples all over africa so if there is a real member of parliament watching this from any country Rest assured, I know that we want to come home and we're willing to contribute to whatever country accepts us. Yeah. As for my Kenyan situation, no place is perfect. I still love Kenya and I'm still trying to make it my home. 
so um, one or two little little misdeeds is not gonna get to me because you know what I have to put it in, in perspective you know I live in Toronto and here recently we've had an issue where some members of parliament here was trying to steal some land yeah land happened here too um, and one of them resigned I think two people might have resigned over it and the, the premier of the province apologized then when I just came to Canada there was two billion dollars went missing um, or was let's just say they spent two billion dollars to win an election with some gas plants I, that was the first time I realized oh this place is just like Jamaica like these governments are exactly the same so I don't want anybody to, to, to talk disparagingly about any African country in corruption because it is everywhere it happens here just Google SNC Lavalin scandal in, in Canada and you'll see what happens. So yeah, that, that's not going to deter me from coming home because yeah, so that's not going to stop me from, that's not definitely not going to stop me from coming home. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm looking to come on my vacation next year, early next year. I got to get a fence built around the land in Naivasha. And I'm gonna go out there and plant some trees. Um, plant mango tree, uh, breadfruit tree. So if anybody has any breadfruit, not jackfruit, breadfruit, um, I think I might have seen some in Tanzania, but I don't know if there's any in Kenya. But if there is, I'm definitely gonna plant one of those trees. And um, yeah, mango, really just mango tree and things. The other stuff grow quick, like tomato and um, scotch bonnet pepper and scorpion trinidad scorpion pepper definitely planting those um as well i can't i can't wait like i love planting you should have seen my, the bushels i got from my backyard this this summer here but anyways people thank you thank you for coming back every time to watch my videos it is very much appreciated please like share and subscribe um on my trip to to kenya again i will be definitely doing a lot more videos i'm new to this youtube thing and sometimes you know i'm a little bit shy to take out the camera and film people and all that stuff it's not really something um that's part of me but i realize people like seeing me, especially love the african content so i will definitely endeavor to do some more